Haram. Qatar bans beer at the World Cup at the last minute. Qatar, the host for the FIFA World Cup 2022, banned beer sales at the stadiums only two days before the opening game. The move completely backtracked on the deal the conservative Muslim country made to secure the soccer tournament. Islam forbids Muslims to drink alcohol as it is considered to be haram or forbidden. Islamic scholars and religious authorities usually cite the sayings of the prophet and the adverse effects alcohol can have on one's body. Authorities declared that alcoholic products would be served only in the luxury hospitality areas of the arenas. The decision spread tension over how the event will play out. Budweiser, the tournament's official beer sponsor, <laughs> received a significant blow as the sales of alcohol is heavily restricted in the autocratic country. And it raised concern over how much control FIFA has over the tournament. Some soccer fans complained about the decision. After the news came in, Budweiser's official Twitter account posted, quote, well, this is awkward. <laughs> the post was deleted without explanation shortly after. Um, so I thought this is just kind of like silly. Um, Armin, what was this, your reaction to this? That, I, I was I was just away. I was just listening to you while I was away. I just started laughing out loud when when I when you said this is awkward. But <laughs> didn't they this didn't they have a contract? Like yes. wouldn't wouldn't they get sued by Budweiser because now they have to pay for all the revenue that they were lost? I don't know if they'll get sued by Budweiser because Budweiser's contract is with FIFA not with Qatar itself. That's my understanding. So, but Qatar has been in negotiations with FIFA about the um, allowing alcohol at the World Cup literally up until September. They've been trying to nail this down in, in writing since September. That's how contentious this issue has been. When Qatar has been building these stadiums to prepare for this World Cup for what? Over a decade? Yeah. And like, so, and then, and then they reversed this decision two days before the kickoff game, which shows how contentious this issue is and how I think FIFA doesn't have as much control over this tournament as they would like people to think. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. So Budweiser had an agreement with FIFA um, and if FIFA could not guarantee then they misled Budweiser about how if they say like okay come here sell your uh, you know alcohol it was an understanding that there will be sales of alcohol in Qatar during World Cup so if if they misrepresented that I think there's still grounds for Budweiser to sue FIFA over like okay well you guys like lied to us I don't know Apparently, Budweiser was planning to sell beers at fourteen dollars a beer, anyways. So, like, that's a huge ripoff. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, well, it, it makes sense though in a country where it's so hard for you to get beer, mm -hmm. then beer would be a luxurious item. So it makes sense for you to sell it at a huge. It margin. was supposed to be available in the stadiums, and now it's no longer available in the stadiums, and alcohol is only available in <laughs> basically these, friend. like. They are offended. <laughs> like, yeah. 14 USD for a beer. F you. No, right? No, that's like. That's I mean, egregious. Like that is beer. absolutely egregious. Like, and it's Budweiser yeah. beer, too. Let's be clear. It's a Budweiser. Like, $14 for a Budweiser is so insulting. <laughs> um, <laughs> and their deal is that they're the only beer that's sold. <laughs> so it's like ridiculous. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, like, it's not a complete ban on alcohol altogether. It's, like, it's now only allowed in these basically specialty areas and, like, in some hotel bars. That So, basically, the moral of the story is that this is not going to be available to the vast majority of ticket holders. And FIFA fought so hard on this for a long time because, one this is a very good way for them to make money. And two, beer is such an important part of football culture, like around the world. Um, so 
yeah, it's, I don't know. I just thought this was more symbolic than anything else. Like, I don't care about the World Cup at all. If I did, I wouldn't be watching because of Qatar. Like, and I don't, I don't even like beer that much either. So I don't even care about the particulars about this case. But I think it's very revealing about this situation at the World Cup in general. Um, the other, uh, <laughs> the other, this is, this is a little bit of a sidetrack, but Armin, did you see that at the, um, World Cup, um, some English guys showed up at the stadium dressed as crusaders? Yeah, what was up with that? That was like important. <laughs> I, even I think, you know what? I am not for like telling people that this is in poor taste, this is not PC, but that was in poor taste. Was not I was like <laughs> showing up in the Middle East dressed as a crusader. I was like, people, no, oh people God. from UK, people <laughs> from the UK, people from the UK showing up in the Middle East dressed up as crusaders. Was that it's like on purpose? Yeah, well, of course it's on what they purpose. Were doing. What do you mean? <laughs> What How else do you the... stumble into freaking Qatar dressed like you're from the Middle Ages? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me actually I just woke picture. up and this was the only thing I had available. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm per like... My other clothes well... were dirty. I only had chain <laughs> 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 No, but on purpose, I mean, were they trying to send like an intimidating message or something? Oh, here, here are the pictures. Like, because when I was looking, you can't. When, I, when I was looking at their interviews, they were like, oh, yeah, we love it here. The Qatari people are nice. So I was like, they don't seem to be anti Qatari. They don't seem to be anti Qatari. So why are they wearing crusade? Like, what is it with these costumes? Like, wh why are they showing up like this? This is like, that makes no sense. <laughs> Why? Explain, somebody. <laughs> Are they trying to be intimidating? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Oh, here, like Forever Stormy has an explanation maybe that I don't understand. I think it's I think not they're... like... Mm, I, I mean, eh, not really. Like... <laughs> <laughs> besides saying it's classic british humor okay in a way it really is though like yeah maybe it's so maybe. inappropriate it like because british humor can be very inappropriate and very dark as well i actually love yeah. british humor like this is very rowan atkinson um <laughs> sai is saying i want to dress like the mongols <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Mustafa say I don't recall British guys uh, doing this in uh, Brazil. Well, you I mean, the crusade point. didn't. The crusade didn't make it to the Brazil. To Brazil, so maybe that's. Well, exactly. So then, what are you referencing <laughs> here? It's obviously the Crusades. <laughs> like, guys, remember the last time we were here? It was like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're back. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my um, god. Oh here, Evan Cam is saying what you want to read this? He's saying crusader outfits are normal for English sporting events. I know that. Oh, but okay, also like makes... come on. Yeah, but maybe also... they were that's what that's what I meant by unintentionally. Like that's what I mean when I mean like they weren't trying to send the message like, oh yeah, like we're back to fuck you up or something like that. Maybe that's what they meant. That, that's what I meant about that. I mean, you would have to be a complete dunce to be like oh i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> this is where i am geographically and this is how i'm going to dress and i have no knowledge about the relationship between the two what <laughs> people don't i mean you're not you shouldn't be that shocked your expectations are too high susan of people the reason the reason why i think these people were not meant to were trying weren't trying to be intimidating because i saw the interview of of that guy on t on youtube with the guy with the crusade outfit and he was so complimenting the Qataris and how nice they are and how amazing it is and they're like the guy was like, oh, not having alcohol here is no problem. Everything else is very nice. So I was like, this guy doesn't seem like to be a dick. Like, does it, like he's wearing a crusader outfit. So I was like, is this guy racist? 
Like, is this guy like a racist, like a right wing leaning person? Or like, but he just seemed like a genuinely nice person. Like, he just seemed clueless about his outfit being <laughs> kind of oh problematic. Oh my god, these comments are hilarious. <laughs> Professor on Twitch, by the way, guys, go follow us on Twitch. Is saying chainmail is very airy and good in heat. <laughs> and <laughs> Professor Armin is saying they flew got their airways first class to wage a crusade. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I love these comments. Yeah, that's good. Have you been following the other drama about the World Cup? Like, I know when it comes to Iran, like, it's become highly political. Yeah, we should cover that maybe next week. Oh, no, we have another Iran related news. Maybe we should, no, we should, yeah, no, we should highlight the drama between Iranian football with the whole protest. I think that's what we should cover next week. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. But what, what, yeah. what are you talking about? Well, like, Oh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. There's a, there's a, yeah. I mean, I can't even get into it all, but yeah. like how the I, highest a showing of regime support we've seen is when. Oh my <laughs> God. Yes. Kind of Let's show that. Let's show this, the setup, the regime. Okay, guys, next week we have a FIFA news. We have an Iranian regime FIFA related news. I'm not going to spoil it. It's pretty. It's yeah. pretty ridiculous. It's really yeah. embarrassing for the regime. So, yeah. But it also put it into perspective for me about why it's so politicized in Iran and why people are interpreting yeah. the World Cup the way that they are. Um, yeah. It's, yeah. The, the whole the whole football FIFA situation in the, in Iran right now has become very more like it's always political. Football always becomes political in Iran. But right now it's become this is on a different level, right? It's so okay. So yeah, as Ibn Qayyim says, um, the first game Iran had was with England, and England scored six, Iran scored two. And we had people in the streets of Iran cheering, cheering England. People showed up with UK flags um, because they were celebrating the regime. Iranians, because the, the Iranian football team uh, was not taking the side of the protesters and was like, um, not saying anything for the people and even went to meet Raisi and the, it was... We could, we'll cover this in more detail, but it got to the point where Iranian people who soccer is a religion for them, and the religion in Iran is first soccer, second is Islam. The, you know, no, the this is religion. not a joke. This is like yes. not a joke. That's real. So people are very obsessive about the Iranian team winning, but it got to the point where Iranians were cheering the Iranian team losing and they were celebrating the other side. Right? I don't and know if people when, understand like that's in, yes. the magnitude of that. That's actually huge. <laughs> yeah, we should cover that. We will show footage of that. And then when Iran won over uh, defeated Wales, we had because not enough Iranians were showing up in the streets to celebrate Iranian team winning, the, the regime sent the police <laughs> and the armed forces to celebrate to make the streets busy with celebrations. And the footage from that, oh my God, is just cringe worthy footage which i will show you next week yeah so yeah anyways um okay can we can wait we there was the a funny com oh. there was one last comment i wanted to read shriasa is saying does budweiser take taste like piss i've never touched beer so i want to know the answer is yes budweiser <laughs> is trash as an american <laughs> i can tell you budweiser is trash okay <laughs> yeah um go drink anything else i actually miss, yeah, yeah, is that i'll just talk about beer to, makes you're, me you're allowing beer. them to serve non-alcoholic beer so the only thing worse than a budweiser would be a non-alcoholic beer or budweiser <laughs> wait look read this comment before we go to the next news it's very nice oh young atheist is saying atheist republic is the best organization uh that do something for the innocent people of iran you Susanna, and babak are legends I hope one day your efforts will give us the result. Hashtag Iranian people's lives matter. Oh, oh that's I so love sweet. this comment. Thank you, young atheist. Thank you. That's very We sweet. have lots of love for all of our young atheists in Pakistan. You guys have a hard time over there. Yeah. And I'm so glad that you're here and we can give you support of our community so that you know that you're not alone and you can mm. be yourself here. <laughs> that's very sweet. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, 
Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.